एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम Hi I'm Dr Neelam So in this video we will cover to find out the solution for a differential equation which is of first order but of higher degree Welcome to S Chand Academy For more details of the topic you can refer to the book from S Chand Publishing details are given in this corner and link is given in the description box So we will start Uh, the solution techniques for the equation of first order but of higher degree so equations of first order and of higher degree so it can be categorized into three categories so first is that equations soluble for p that is if p is of course the first order derivative that is dy by dx so if the given differential equation is uh, written in terms of p so uh, second form is that is equations soluble for y and third is equations soluble for x so we will take them separately one by one so in the first part of the video we will take this first equation which is soluble for p equation soluble for p so as we said that this is of first order but not of first degree so the general form can be written as p is to the power n plus let us say f1 xy p n minus 1 and f2 xy p n minus 2 and so on so forth plus f n xy is equals to 0 so since p is the derivative here and since it has nth power therefore it it is called as uh, degree n so this is a first order differential equation of degree n now to solve this differential equation what we do is that we will factorize this equation for linear factors in p so let us say that this can be written as p1 minus f1 xy p to, and let us take a different function so that you should not get confused between this function and this function p2 minus phi2 xy and so on and so forth so this gets p minus phi n xy and this equals to 0 so they have become linear factors of for this differential equation which is of first order but of nth degree so that's how we got this n number of linear uh, factors for this given differential equation now we need to solve them separately since they are n linear factors so we will get n uh, first order differential equation so this will be p minus phi 1 xy is equals to 0 p minus phi 2 xy is equals to 0 and similarly we will get p minus phi n xy is equals to 0 so there are n number of first order differential equation now it has been converted into a first order different uh, first order differential equation so this is first this is second and this is nth differential equation since they are of first order we know a lot of techniques to solve first order differential equation integrating factor is there separable variable form is there if it is in clear its form directly it can be written if it is of first order and first degree so we have lot of techniques here to solve this uh, these n number of differential equation after sol uh, solu getting solution for this n number of differential equation we will get n number of linear factors so therefore and the final solution the solution of the given differential equation
of the given differential equation can be written as a multiplication of the solution of these n number of differential equation. So, let us let us say that if this is the first order differential equation and the solution for this is f1 x y c say and so on so forth. So, the solution of the given differential equation can be written as can be written as f1 x y c into f2 x y c and so on so forth f n x y c equals to constant uh, uh, for where f 1 f i x y c is a solution is a solution of p minus phi i x y is equals to 0. So, we have n number of linear factors because it was of nth degree. So, we had n number of linear factors which are the first order uh, n number of differential equation of first order and those first order differential equations are giving us n number of solutions. Those n number of solutions have been multiplied together to give the solution of the given differential equation which was of first order but not of first degree. It was we have taken the general form as uh, first order differential equation which is of nth degree. So, we will take one example for this to make it more clear. So, let us take the first example, p square plus p e raised to the power x plus e raised to the power minus x plus 1 is equals to 0. So, let us say that this is the uh, differential equation. So, this is the first order because it has p only where p is dy by dx and since the power of p is 2, therefore, this is the order of the differential equation is 1 but the degree is 2. Since it is of 2 degree therefore we will get 2 linear factors for we should get 2 linear factors for this differential equation to where it will be called as soluble for p. So, we will factorize this differential equation. So, this becomes let us try to expand this becomes p raised to the power minus x plus 1 is equals to 0. So, this becomes p plus e raised to the power x plus and let us say e raised to the power minus x can be taken from this portion. So, it becomes p plus e raised to the power minus plus x is equals to 0. So, it can be written as p plus e raised to the power minus x into p plus e raised to the power x and this equals to 0. So, we got two linear factors for the given differential equation of first order uh, of second degree. So, we got two linear factors which can be written as p plus e raised to the power minus x is equal to 0 and p plus e raised to the power x is equal to 0. So, they have been converted into two first order differential equations. So, nth degree differential equation has been converted into n number of first order differential equation which is of first degree. So, they are the simple differential equation which can be solved. So, we can solve them. So, it becomes dy by dx plus e raised to the power minus x is equal to 0. So, we will be using variable separable form because they are clearly in a variable separable form. So, dy plus e raised to the power minus x dx is equal to 0. So, it can be written as y minus e raised to the power minus x is equal to c1 let us say. And p plus e raised to the power x can be written as dy by dx plus e raised to the power x is equal to 0 which can be written as y plus e raised to the power x is equal to c2, right. So, we will take this c1 and c2 this side. So, this becomes, so f1 x y c becomes y minus e raised to the power minus x minus c1 and f2 x y c becomes y plus e raised to the power minus x minus c2. 
So this is the solution of the first order differential equation of first degree and this is the solution for the second uh, first order first uh, degree this one. This is, let, this is first and this is second. So the solution of the fine, uh, given differential equation can be written as y minus e raised to the power minus x minus c1 into y plus e raised to the power minus this is plus this is plus minus c2 is equals to a constant. So this can be taken as the solution for the and a first order nth degree. So it involves n number of uh, linear uh, factors. So since the given differential equation was of second, uh, first order second degree, therefore we got two linear factors and those two linear factors has got two solutions because each linear factor has been uh, considered as a first order differential equation. They have been solved using variable separable form and the, for both the uh, differential equations solution has been obtained which have been multiplied together to give the solution for the first order uh, but not of first degree. So in this portion we have considered the solution for uh, equation which is of first order but not of first degree they can be of nth degree. Uh, in, this, uh, uh, in this part of the video we have covered the first type of equation which were soluble for p. In the next part of the video we will see the solution when, when the equation is soluble for y and solution uh, soluble for x. For details you can go through the book from S. Chan Publishing details of which is given here. Link is given in the description box. Please like, share and subscribe the video and press the bell icon for uh, whenever for notification as and when new video will be uploaded. Thank you very much. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.